Okay, so uh, what we have here is a Raymond Reese truck. Uh, it's an EZD, so you have a DC, DC lip motor, but an AC uh, traction motor, which is uh, controlled by this uh, Dinaher controller. And so what's happening with this right now is it would intermittently code out 5G, which is a communication code between your VM and the traction power amplifier. All right, so I've done some videos before with a 5G code and an order picker and also a reach truck. I'm gonna link, I'm gonna post a link on those videos in the description. Uh, but this one is kind of different from the other ones. Okay, so like I said earlier, uh, this would um, code out intermittently 5G, but we can recreate it more so when we're trying to lift. All right, so. Right now I got my uh, oscilloscope hooked up, so blue is going to be battery power, as you can see right now it's at 36 or whatever, battery voltage. Red would be after the key switch, and then the gold or yellow is going to be the power going to the um, relay board, alright, after the key switch. So, so this is what we found right now. So let me key on again. And this is one of those models. I think this is an option because I can't see it in the diagram uh, that I'm working with. Uh, it would have a switch here on the side. And even though you key on, there's no power yet. And you have to basically short this out before it keys on. All right. And what happens when you short those wires out or press the, the uh, switch is this relay would activate, right? And that would give now, once I once that relay kicks on, right? So you see the power going to that relay board. So let me do this again. Let me key off, all right? And I would key on. So right now everything is off except for the blue, which is my battery voltage. Right now I'm gonna key on. So key on, nothing happens, all right? And so you see my red, which is the key switch, after the key switch. Blue is before the key switch, straight from battery. Red would be after the key switch, so the key switch is good. But you see on the gold or the yellow, I don't have power yet going into my relay card. The power to the relay card would only be present if I press that switch on the side, which I'm gonna do now. Okay, and you see that drop there? That's coming from the relay in the front. So once I pressed it, there's been a drop and then it went up again and now you have the power. So no code at the moment. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try just pressing this and tapping on it. And there you go, there's the code, right? And what you can see is, you see that drop? So that is what's producing the code because I'm losing positive going to my relay card, uh, which operates K3, which in turn powers the uh, traction power amplifier. So you can always see also here, I don't know if you can see it, and that's the light, okay? So whenever I tap that relay on the top, see the power goes away, and it kicks out. So, for this model or this option alone, it's not going to be, you know, if you're looking at the schematic like mine, I don't see that relay here. So it gets from, it comes from battery positive through the relay card, through the switch, and then goes back. But on this model, or at least this truck that I'm working on, it has the separate relay that's operated by that switch. So for this one, that's going to be that relay producing the 5G code. All right, let me key on again just to verify. Key on. We push the switch on the side. It's fine. So you can see the power is there. Okay. And let me just tap this. I'm going to focus you on that oscilloscope. Okay, I'm tapping it right now. That's it. As soon as I tap it, a drop. So, okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that relay and then let's see. Right now, service code 5G. We're gonna place that relay 
and then see what happens. Okay, so just because we have another truck here with the same relay, all right, so this is the old relay, the original relay that's bolting out. That's another relay now, a known good. So let's key on again. And then switch, all right. As you can see, it jumped up. We got the power now. All right, let me tap the relay again. Okay, so I'm tapping the relay, all right. As you can see on that, no more drop zones. Okay, so this one just turned out to be the relay. And now we can consider this one a fix.